my friends, welcome back to Thunder Mesa Studio where I'm doing kind of a little project today, building some detail parts, but let me back up. Um, this project uh, complements nicely the uh, gruesome gulch layout that I announced um, in my last video. Gruesome Gulch is, is a, uh, a little mini portable ON30 layout uh, with kind of a Halloween ghost train haunted theme that I'm trying to get done in time for Halloween. Uh, and so there was a, a detail part that I needed for that. And I was looking around online, you know, shopping, getting some parts here and there. And I couldn't really find exactly what I wanted. Um, well, I'll just tell you what it was. I was looking for some O-scale coffins, but not just any coffins. I want like the old, you know, kind of rough hewn pine box that you would always see in the old Western movies. And I found some nice uh, uh, coffins uh, from uh, mini prints and some other places, some 3D printed stuff, but I couldn't really find um, what I was looking for. And I thought, you know, someone needs to produce a kit uh, of these, uh, uh, of some nice little O-scale pine box style coffins. And I thought, hey, I make kits. <laughs> I have a laser. I could design something and cut it and, and come up here and build it today. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm kind of killing uh, multiple birds with one stone. Uh, designing some stuff and building some stuff for that's going to go on the Thunder Mesa layout and it's also going to go on the Gruesome Gulch and also it will be, I'm pretty sure, we'll see how it goes, a kit uh, coming very soon from Crescent Creek Models. So let's, uh, let's get into it. So these parts are, are literally hot off the laser. Uh, I designed these uh, and then cut them out of some 1 32nd of an inch thick uh, basswood, which is a fairly delicate stuff. So it's going to be kind of a delicate operation, but I think they should go together without too much difficulty. <laughs> Famous last words. And as you can see, there's uh, parts for four coffins in here. And, uh, you know, they will fit a, uh, a six foot tall uh, figure in O scale. So, without any further ado, let's start uh, cutting out parts and putting one of them together. So, I've got uh, my uh, hobby knife with a relatively sharp number 11 blade. I've got some, uh, some wood glue and a little brush for applying it, and some water to clean my brush in. So, I think I'm just going to jump right in here. And the way these are designed to go together is you build them up on the bottom. And there are some tabs and slots, which are a little delicate. Try to do it without breaking any of them. And for this first one, I'm not going to stain it. I want to have the look of, uh, you know, uh, that just freshly made pine box. So let me... Uh, little emery here. So that's the bottom. You can see that right there. Now the sides have tabs and they are slightly different at each end. So I've marked them right side and left side to the R and L. And so looking at it, assuming that the head end is the top, that's the right side and that's the left side. So let's uh, start with the long one here. The long side first. A little glue on here. I don't want to get too much in case I want to um, stain this in the future. I don't think I will. But this is one of those projects that's so quick I can probably do it in real time here. As the ends are pretty much identical, the top and the bottom. One thing I'm already noticing is it's really easy to blow out these tabs here, but it's not a big deal if you do. Those are, these are more to align things than anything else. So if you blow out a tab, or not a tab, the slot, it's uh, it's not a deal breaker. Most one of the most important things is not to confuse the ends with these upper sides here. 
the pieces are very similar, but they are not exactly the same. Almost. Okay. All right. Now the lid. We'll go with the RIP lid for this one. It's, um, you got three different options. Two of them are the same. One's a cross, one's rest in peace, and two of them are plain. A little variety. Because variety is the spice of life. And in this case, also the spice of the afterlife. Put the lid on it. With the way this goes together, there's this little lip down here around the bottom. You can leave that if you want to, or you can go back like I'm doing and just sand it off and sand it flush with the, uh, with the sides. I would recommend, in fact, if you want that fresh pine look, to go back with some fine sandpaper and sand off all of the, uh, the burn marks from the laser. That's that darker brown there. For this, uh, I'm going to build another one. I think this time I do want to stain the parts. I'm just going to use some uh, Minwax Early American on these touch-up markers. Really handy for small stuff like this. All right. And there's one. With a little bit of that uh, Minwax Early American stain on it. It turned out pretty nice. I like that. I think I'll do the next one, kind of a weathered gray. This is my uh, shoe dye and rubbing alcohol mixture. Uh, this stain's a little wet. It's got some water in it along with that rubbing alcohol, so I want to make sure I do both sides. Warp. These, uh, you know, basic pine box coffins, uh, you know, usually there wouldn't be a hinge. The lids would just be nailed on. So you can model, what I'm going to do here, you could, you can model the lid in a lot of different ways. You could have it um, off to the side like that. Uh, you could have it inside like so, or what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to have it kind of laid across partially open like that. Kind of creepy. For this last one, I'm going to go with the basic raw wood look again, I think. I like the look of this raw wood, but I do want to give it just a little bit of character. So I'm going to use a very light, very light watercolors. This is a mix of uh, burnt sienna and cobalt blue, just to differentiate these boards a little bit, just to give it a little bit of variety. And also uh, add some knot holes to this wood here. Makes the appearance of knot holes. Just a little dots here and there. There, now we've given it the look of, uh, you know, a little bit of character, but it still looks like new wood. I'll do some on this one too, I think. Well, I'll probably need to make a lot more of these for my gruesome gulch layout. But in the meantime, I've got just the spot for these. Let's see. 
Right over here by the Undertaker's is a pretty good spot, I think. I'm not going to glue them in place right now because, you know, I might change my mind. But, uh, I like the way that looks. Good old Atencio, Crump, and Gracie's. People are dying to get in there. And that's going to do it for this little project. Thank you all so much for tuning in. The uh, little pine box casket should be available from Crescent Creek Models in August of this year, so keep an eye out for those. Until then, you can follow Thunder Mesa on Instagram at thunder.mesa or see what's new on the Thunder Mesa Studio website at thundermesa.studio. If you really like what we're doing here on the channel and want to show your support, you can do what these nice folks did and head over to patreon.com slash thundermesa and show your support there. Until next time, keep moving forward, my friends. Adios for now.